Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Hey Flood, think again. You don't know what rural is! Exclamation point. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's the Daily Woo from Laguna Beach, just shy of the beach, inland from the beach. And I found this very unusual I don't know if it's abandoned or just closed or maybe it's being renovated, but there is no one here under this foliage of goodness with these weird, bizarre red plants or leaves. I'm not really sure what these are. Does anyone know what these are? It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. I think I did the intro twice, but it does not matter because it is the weekend. It is Saturday. Do you have any idea what those are? No idea at all. We're trying to wonder, we're trying to procure the subject at hand, which are these. What are these leaves, plants, foliage, and what exactly is this former art gallery? And why is it barren? Why is it empty here in Laguna, California, Laguna Beach to be exact? And there are all kind of wonderful creations like this man and this miniature man and a fish right there. A lot of stuff made out of steel. And I kind of peeked my head around the corner and I wasn't sure if there's anyone on the property, so I didn't want to venture too far off, but I was fascinated by the subject at hand, the art subject at hand. And here we have a half nude woman with just a torso, no arms, but there are legs. And she has a very cool hairstyle, a very, very cool, hairstyle protruding out the side area right here. So that is very, very cool. Look at the hills, the mountains. We are technically in a ravine, in a valley, in canyon country. What do they call, what do they call a valley? They call it a canyon, they call it a valley. What would you call where we are right now? We're technically not on the beach. The beach is that way. So what would you call this area? I would call it a valley. A valley. So we are in a valley filled with artwork and the reason we stopped here was because you noticed something on the way in and what was it that you wanted to show them off the side of the road in front of this art gallery something that you saw that was very interesting um, well i don't know exactly what it is but it's right over there yeah it's right over there there it is shunk -a -gunk -a -gunk -a -gunk -a -gunk. it is a large bicycle tricycle because there's actually only three tires, three wheels created by the cavemen, some say, and the caveman would be very excited if he saw that because if I was to see a caveman riding one of these, that would make my Saturday morning, make my entire weekend. I kind of look like a caveman, so I could actually pose as a caveman riding on this and all these passerbyers riding through this canyon or as you like to call it, a valley next to the beach, Laguna Beach, would think that I was actually a caveman coming from the past, riding on a time-machined, three-wheeled bicycle. Very cool. So let's take a close look at this awesome structure. And I am not actually sure. I do joke about the caveman thing, but I am not actually sure if this art gallery that is over here that is no longer open. Oh, what the heck are these? Some sort of weird alien pods dangling from the trees. Something out of Predator. I wonder if the Predator will actually festoon himself out of that hanging ornament. Almost like a Christmas ornament, except it's springtime and there's no snow on the ground. Only Predators in the trees. And there's another one over there. Holy cow. What in the name of heck are these? Look at this. Very bizarre. Look at that. Very unusual. What are these? Any idea what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joke. <coughs> I'm choking. The alien pods have actually infected my lung regions. Any ideas what that possibly could be? Give me your best educated answer. Uh, a cocoon of some sort. A cocoon! <laughs> of some sort, just like in Predator. 
If it bleeds, we can kill it. Come on. If it bleeds, we can stick around. Come on. We need Arnold out here to protect us from the caveman riding tricycle, not a unicycle, but a tricycle. That is awesome. I'm getting very distracted by the artwork and by the cocoons in the trees. When the focus, the matter at hand is this three wheeled bicycle slash time machine. What if I should get up on top of that? I wonder if I could actually hold my body weight. If I was actually step on top of here and get up on top of here like this. I wonder if I could actually get up on top of this thing right here. So here is where you place your hands and you ride the bicycle just like this. Stand in front of there, stand in front of the tire. Don't get in the road, but just get directly in front of the tire. Like right in front of the tire there. And I'm gonna pretend, so give me your best scared hands in the air. I'm coming to get you. Yes, I'm mowing you down one more time. Here comes the caveman. Absolutely terrifying. We have just created a moment right here. Okay, this guy's trying to get by. He is not terrified of my caveman bicycle riding, tricycle bike riding skills. I'm guessing this is the brake right here. And these tires will take a heck of a lot of air to fill up because they are huge. And the interesting thing is they are actually screws screwed in the side. So I don't know how air actually sustains itself inside of there. I don't know if this is actually feasible to get on. It's very wishy-washy and wobbly. So I probably will not get my unthin self up on top of that object of rusty goodness. That is cool. So there you have it. The unusual three-wheel bicycle of awesomeness. This is what I was talking about as well. Look at these little little screws all in here. So technically, this bike does not have any air in its tires, which makes it even more magical in the grand scheme of things because time machines do not need air. Where we're going, we don't need roads, and where, where this thing is going, we don't need air. Unfortunately, I need air to live and to survive in these alien pod predators. Cocoons, that you like to recall them, call them here in the valley. The valley cocoons do need air to survive, so we're gonna get out of here before those things hatch and attack us. There's actually a pretty cool koi pond place too, which we might check out. All right, gonna let you guys go. Just filmed a main channel video, which I should hopefully have up either tomorrow or the next day. All right, that's about it. Any other things, facts and figures you wanna tell about cocoons? No cocoon facts and figures, any valley references? All right, see you guys later. Say goodbye. Bye.